guys, welcome to Bunches of Lunches, end of summer edition. This week, the kids are doing the shopping and I'm doing the cooking. And friends, this video has a little bit of everything. We're doing a kids takeover, several shop with me's, we're using a mystery wheel and a claw machine to help choose what's for lunch. And you guys, for the last lunch of the week, we are buying that one in Japan. Well, Epcot's version of Japan, that is. My kids officially go back to school next week, so we are super excited to be doing this fun challenge. But before we get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, because I'm gonna be sharing lots of fun lunch ideas all year long. Okay, so on our mystery wheel, we have lots of different stores from the area. We don't actually have a ton of different stores. So I've also included gas stations, which might be a challenge. And we also have things like wild card. So that should be interesting. I kind of hope somebody gets that. We have a shop from home option. So they'll have to look in the pantry and the freezer and come up with something. We have BJ's, which is kind of like a Costco. We have a you choose option so they could pick whatever store they want to. We have Aldi and 7-Eleven and Walmart and Target and Publix and Dollar Tree. And here we have our claw machine. In each little Easter egg, I put a different lunch theme. So something like one color lunch or a holiday themed lunch, maybe a no cook lunch. So something like that. Are you ready to pick yours? Yeah. All right, put your little coin in. Which one are you going for? Uh, I'm gonna try to go for the dark blue one. Dark blue, oh, that's way back there. Can you get it? Oh, you almost did get it. Oh, that wasn't so hard. No! Oh no, you dropped it. Keep ah. trying, keep trying. You could try for a different one. No, I'm getting that one. You're determined to get the blue one, the dark blue one. Oh, you've got it. Hurry, hurry. Oh, you're running out of time. You did it. Okay, open it up. And let's see what's on your paper. Disney. Disney, oh, that's gonna be easy, although, what Disney theme? There's so many. Now let's find out which store you have to shop at. Are you ready to spin? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Yeah! Publix? Oh, no. Publix is good. They have lots of choices. Now you guys, even though there are so many Publix grocery stores in our area of Florida, we don't really shop at Publix that often. I usually find better deals at Aldi or at Target, but surprisingly, Lily was able to find quite a lot of Disney themed food for her lunch. Now I forgot to mention before, but the kids are getting to pick whatever they want for their lunches, but within reason. Our rules are that they have to pick one main item, then at least one fruit, at least one veggie, and then after that, they can pick one side, one treat, and a drink. So no, it cannot be all candy. For Lily's main course, she picked the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Pancake Mix, but I'm gonna turn these into waffles. Now you guys, Lily is one of my pickier eaters, so that's why you often see me making her some sort of PB&J or some sort of breakfast for lunch. And it's also probably one of the reasons that I have rather an extensive collection of waffle irons. And you guys, that definitely includes some Disney themed ones like this Mickey shape. One of the last times I made Mickey waffles, I used this waffle iron that I found on Amazon. Now this makes Mickey waffles just like the ones you might find at Disneyland or at Disney World. It's super heavy duty. It can make six waffles at a time, but it is kind of pricey. Another option that is also from Amazon is this one. Now this does only make one waffle at a time, but it's more budget friendly and it's one of my favorites. I've had this one for years. Thank you. 
So now moving on to Lily's fruit. For her lunch, she picked mango, and I don't know if it's mango season or what, but the one she picked out for her lunch was perfectly ripe and super juicy. For Lily's veggies, she picked out one of her favorites, which is broccoli slaw. Now this is actually thinly sliced broccoli stems, but then they also add in shredded carrots and shredded cabbage. I just top this with regular salad dressing and she just loves it. Now on the side, Lily chose some cheese and crackers. So for the cheese, she picked up this frozen themed string cheese. Now you guys, these are so cute and each little package has a character on the outside. Now for her crackers, Lily actually picked out goldfish crackers. For something sweet, Lily was able to find these Disney Princess yogurt pouches. And you guys, fun tip, you can actually freeze these overnight and then stick them in your kids' lunchbox in the morning and then by lunchtime they should be thawed but still be nice and cold. And now lastly for Lily's drink, she's just having water but I'm gonna add it to this really cute Olaf sipper. All right, next up we have Jackson. Jackson, which egg are you trying to get? Mm, the red one. The red one, all right, put your coin in. Let's see what you get. Yay. All right, let's see what you got there. A shape? All right, so you either have to make everything round, everything square, everything circle, you get to pick the shape. So we know what theme you're making, but what store are you shopping at? Which one are you hoping you're gonna get? Probably something like Aldi or like, yeah, probably something from like Aldi or Target. All right, give it a spin. Let's see what you get. Aldi. Aldi, that's exactly what you wanted. Now, like I said, Aldi is one of my favorite grocery stores because the prices are good. And if I get the chance, I really like to take one kid with me shopping at a time. That way we can have some fun one-on-one -on -one time. Now, originally Jackson was looking for star-shaped items, but he quickly found out that that was going to be really hard because he wasn't finding a lot of choices. So he ended up picking circle-shaped items instead. And you guys, there were a ton of circle shaped foods I was really surprised including all of these knockoff Girl Scout cookies while we were at Aldi I also picked up one of my favorite snacks which are these pickle bites and I also picked up a snack that Lily especially likes which is this halloumi cheese while we were there I also found these really interesting sounding chips these are a combination of barbecue, salt and vinegar, and ketchup flavored. And you guys can probably tell that I ended up making the mistake of going shopping while I was hungry. So we did end up with a few extra snacks. So now on to Jackson's lunch. For his main course, he chose a ham and Colby cheese sandwich, and I'm going to make two mini ones with lots of circles to keep with that circle theme. Next, for Jackson's fruit, he chose watermelon. So I'll cut those into circles. And then right on top, I'm also adding some circles of cucumber. For his veggie, Jackson picked out a green bell pepper. And fun fact about Jackson, he's the only kid I know that will sit down and eat an entire green bell pepper just like it was an apple. He doesn't cut it up or anything, he just eats it like an apple. 
But you guys, it can only be a green bell pepper, not the sweeter red or yellow or orange type, only green. So then right on top of the bell peppers, I'm also adding some carrots. I'll add some ranch to go with the veggies. And then for a snack on the side, Jackson chose these circle-shaped cheese crackers. For his sweet treat, Jackson went with the chocolate mint cookies. You guys, these look so good and they do smell just like thin mint cookies. I'll add just a couple in here. And then lastly, for his drink, since he could pick anything, Jackson went for the chocolate milk. And I'm just gonna add a little bit to the most circle-shaped cup that I have. Okay, Kenzie, are you ready to pick? Mm -hmm. Which egg are you gonna try to get? The red one. Back All right, go for the red one. Let's see. What theme is in the red one? Oh, try again. You almost had it. Oh, you gotta open it. Open it. It won't open. Oh, there you go. It doesn't make it stuck. Keep trying, keep trying. I can't move any further back. Keep trying. You got it. Oh, I think you got it that time. Yeah, you got it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh no. <laughs> I think I'm still playing. Hot lunch, ooh. Okay. Why is it still playing? I don't know, this thing needs to stop already. It thinks I'm still playing. It thinks you lost. Okay, so you have a hot, hot lunch. lunch, but where are you gonna shop at? Now wait a minute, which store would you like to get? Probably, um, maybe Target. Uh huh. Probably. Target would be good. Wild, wild card. card? <gasps> okay, for the wild card, we're gonna need my phone because we're gonna phone a friend. Okay. Hang on, I don't know where my phone is. So, what Mackenzie has to do is she has to call my mom. She's gotta call grandma and ask grandma what store she should shop at. Hello, Grandma. Um, which store should I shop at? 7-Eleven, Wawa, Racetrack, or Shop From Home? I think you should shop at 7-Eleven. Ooh. There's a lot of cool stuff there. All right, okay. thanks, Mama. Thank you. Bye. Now, when it comes to gas stations in our area, we usually go to Racetrack over places like Wawa or 7-Eleven. In fact, this was the first time we'd ever been inside this 7-Eleven. Now, of course, we found lots of drinks and snacks, but we also found things like taquitos, hot dogs, chili cheese nachos, and pizza. Now, Kenzie and I were both kind of skeptical that we'd be able to find any kinds of fresh fruit or veggies here. But we actually found an entire little section. We found salads, cartons of fresh eggs, lots of different sandwiches, but we also found some hard-boiled eggs that looked a little sketchy. Bruh. Now, I would love to know in the comments down below if you have a 7-Eleven near you, what types of foods can you find there? So now back to Mackenzie's lunch. For Mackenzie's main course, she picked this chicken bacon ranch sub. And that's kind of funny because in last week's video, when the kids made their own lunches, she also made a chicken bacon ranch type of food. Now you guys, this sandwich is actually really large and the bread seems both soggy and dried out at the same time. So I'm gonna try my best to fix this up. I'm going to start by just cutting it into smaller sections and then I'm going to use my panini press to grill the sandwich. My goal is to get this nice and hot and crispy. After all, Mackenzie's theme for her lunch is hot lunch, so I gotta make sure that this has plenty of hot foods.
For Mackenzie's fruit, she picked out this combination of apples and grapes. And then for her veggie, that was kind of tough, shopping only at 7-Eleven. Now she ended up with this veggie soup, and even though it's not very fancy, it still works really well. So her lunch is basically turning into a soup and sandwich combo. Now for her side, Kenzie picked out these Simply Cheetos. And then for her sweet treat, she picked up this peach pie yogurt parfait. Now this is made with vanilla Greek yogurt. It also has spiced peaches. And then it also comes with a topping of granola and cinnamon streusel. And now lastly for her drink, she found this really interesting looking pineapple and coconut milk drink. And I don't know if you can see them very well, but there are actually little pieces of coconut in the drink too. Okay, Griffin, are you ready? Yeah. Now, what color are you going for? The blue one in the middle. The blue one in the middle? Okay, yeah. put your coin in. Let's see if you can get it. Okay. Quick, you gotta be fast. Okay. Oh, try again. Let's try. Okay. <gasps> I think you got it. Yeah. Okay, open it up and let's see what you got. Favorites. You get to pick a lunch with all your favorite things. Yay. That's so easy. Good job. Yay. Are you ready to spin? Yeah. Spin it hard. <gasps> Does target. it say Target? Target. You get to go to Target. Yay. Okay guys, so now when we went to Target, all of the kids ended up coming with us as well to do some back to school shopping. So stay tuned for our back to school haul video that should be coming out soon. But of course, since we're shopping for Griffin's lunch, you guys could probably already guess which aisle we'd end up on. That's right, the mac and cheese aisle. We found Spider-Man, Puppies and Kitties, Mickey, Bunnies. We also found Unicorn, Paw Patrol, and our favorite kind of mac and cheese, Goodles. And we also found some Cheeto mac and cheese. While at Target, we did also get a little distracted by all of the new good to grows that we found. There was Encanto, Coco Melon, Alice in Wonderland, PJ Mask, Gabby's Dollhouse, Clifford, and Lightning McQueen. And for all of you pumpkin spice lovers, I was starting to see lots of fall food items in Target as well. So now for Griffin's lunch, he did end up picking this easy mac and cheese for his main course. Now this one I hadn't seen before. I think it might be new, but this is the triple cheese flavor. For his fruit, Griffin chose a combination of blueberries and bananas. And for his veggie, he chose baby carrots. Now even though these are supposed to be petite carrots, they're still pretty thick. So I'm just slicing them up to make them a little bit easier to eat. For Griffin's snack, he chose barbecue Pringles, and I'm just gonna add a few of those. And then for his sweet treat, he chose something I couldn't normally send in a regular school lunch, and that's because it's a frozen treat. Now these are called Just Fruit, and they're basically banana bites. Now to me, they kind of look like Dipping Dots ice cream, but of course these are made with just fruit. Now honestly, I do have to say that the real stuff doesn't look quite as good as it does on the box. 
Let me know if you guys have ever tried these before. And now last but not least for Griffin's drink, he chose this blippy good to grow. Hey guys, today we are having lunch at one of our favorite places. We have on all of our Baymax shirts because we are having a Japanese lunch. Well, an Epcot Japanese lunch, that is. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. It's getting late. This is more like a dinner, a lunch dinner, so let's go. Now, because it is Friday, it is packed here, but that's okay. We're not gonna be here that long, and at least it's not raining. There's quite a lot on the menu that looks interesting, and I think we're gonna try one of each. First up, we're trying the teriyaki chicken bun. This is a steamed bun with a chicken filling, vegetables, and teriyaki sauce. Now, when I lived in Japan, I used to get something that looked just like this almost every day at the local 7-Eleven, except it was filled with pizza, and they called it a pizza mon. I loved it. What do you guys think? Is it a thumbs up? Now, is it spicy? No. Would you buy it again? Are you ready to try the sushi? Uh, no, you don't want to try it? Okay, we'll have Kenzie try it. Okay, you better give Jackson some. He wants to try it. Next, we're trying the fire taiko roll. This is spicy tuna, cucumber with pickled daikon radish served with a spicy sauce. And not everybody in the family is a huge fan of sushi rolls, but Kenzie definitely is. So she's going to taste this one for us first. The word taiko in Japanese refers to the big drums that they play, so I can kind of see how these sushi rolls resemble a big drum. That's my theory anyway. Last up, we are trying the beef wagyu don. This is essentially a rice bowl with beef on top. It looks like there's a little bit of daikon radish and a teeny tiny quail egg. Is it good? Is it spicy at all? No, not spicy? So now that we've tried everything from the Japan booth, we're gonna head on into my favorite store, Mitsukoshi. And I'm gonna let the kids each pick their favorite snack from this store. But it is definitely a challenge. There are so many different tasty items in here. And a couple that we're not huge fans of as well. Okay, so my favorite has to be the Goma Mochi Daifuku. I love anything with sesame seeds. It is so good. But the kids, they, they're not really big fans of this. Now, of course, we love all of the Japanese drinks. And it is super hot today, so these come in handy. I personally love the CC Lemon. This has a ton of vitamin C in it. They have some energy jelly. And of course, on a super hot day, I love to have a Pocari Sweat. It's kind of like a Gatorade. It'll definitely help you not be dehydrated. We finally made it out of the store. There's just so much to look at in there. I love that store. Um, the kids did end up picking one treat a piece and we will show you what we got in just a minute. The sun is setting and this whole area in the Japan Pavilion it's just so beautiful. I love it here. It's a great, quiet place away from the hustle and bustle of Disney. It's so pretty. Uh -huh. 
I picked the chocolate strawberry mushrooms. Now these are so cute. It's like a little biscuit with a chocolate top. Although this one has strawberry as well. I've never seen that flavor before. And then Miss Lily, what did you pick? I picked some CC lemon. That is an excellent choice. This one is sweet, but it's not too sweet and it's not quite as carbonated as like American soda would be. And then Jackson, what did you pick? Some white peach soda. Now, I don't think I've tried this flavor before, but basically anything peach flavored from Japan is delicious. And I'm pretty sure the word for peach is momo. And last but not least, we have Griffin's pick. He has a strawberry calpico. The strawberry flavor is good, but I also like the mango. On your mark, get set. Open your snacks. I can't open it. Oishi? Oishi desu ka? And finally, my choice from Mitsukoshi is this corn pottage puffed snack. Okay, so these little puff balls taste like really delicious corn soup. I'm a huge fan of anything corn flavored. Hey friends, so as we wrap up our summer lunches, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching and for supporting the channel. I appreciate every single one of you for coming along with us on this journey. I am hoping to share lots of back to school content, so definitely stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week.